Hello, welcome to your feel good flow and welcome back to yoga with Paige. I am Paige. It is nice to meet you if we have not practiced together before. And if we have, welcome back. So like I said, today is a feel good flow. We gather in some extra strength. So move carefully, use that inner power, use your stabilizer muscles and your breath to focus and consciously transition from one posture to another. Don't judge yourself if you fall out. We are just moving all around the mat, so make sure you have ample space around you on the sides and in front and behind. Whenever you're ready, we will get started in child pose today. Beginning to reach the hips back, reaching the fingertips forward. Finding length in the side body as we exhale, release. Find one big full body breath to center yourself, to align your mind and your body with this practice. And then on your next exhale, gently creep the fingertips over to the right side, finding a nice little C shape. One big breath here, really finding space on the exhale. Then inhale, lift the chest, walk the hands back through center and over to the left side. Breathing here, not forcing anything, just finding a nice little stretch. Taking your last breath and then exhale. Walk the hands back through center. Raise up onto the knees, drawing the fingertips back towards the hips. Inhale, making sure the knees are hip width apart, taking them under the hips, grounding down through the tops of the feet. Inhale, raise the arms high. And exhale, take them out to shoulder height, palms face down to each side of the room, fingers are spread. Inhale, then exhale, twist to the right, just moving from the torso. Back through center and over to the left. Making the first few of these small and more rigid. Just rotating from the upper spine. And once we have found a few on each side, maybe we want to make this a little bit more fluid. Maybe bending the arms, maybe moving a little bit with the hips as well. Finding your flow here. One more big breath. And then still up on the knees, inhale, reach the arms up, hands clasp together. And take rib rolls here. So we are pretending like there's a little string coming out from the ribs that's pulling you ribs first. So ribs out to the side, round through the back, and ribs to the front. Making sure to go both ways. Find your little feel good position here. Maybe it's more of a back bending. You can send the hips back as well. Just waking up through the spine. And whenever you're ready, we meet in tabletop. Taking your time to get there. Grounding down through the hands and the tops of the feet. Inhale, raise the left arm high. Exhale, thread the needle. Come to lie on the left ear. You can extend the right leg long, coming up onto the ball of the foot. Pressing through the right hand, opening up the back. Exhale, take the knee back underneath. 
And reach the left arm up, inhale, and exhale, tabletop. Right arm peels up for the sky, big breath. And exhale, thread the needle. Beautiful, maybe extending the left leg if we did so on the right. One more breath, see where you can soften. And bring the knee back in, reach the right arm back up and tabletop. Grounding down through this left hand. Kickstand this left leg behind the foot, swings out behind the mat. Right reaches long. We come into a little side plank variation. Right fingertips reach up. We find nice long lines here before gently lifting the right leg, squeezing through the glutes, and begin to bend and straighten the knee, making these movements controlled. Taking about three or four. And when your knee is bent next, we'll reach it up high, trying to make like a huge arc with your knee here and then stepping that right foot up and rotating into a low lunge, sweeping the arms overhead. And exhale, sink the hips down and forward. Find your nice square hips, palms reach forward together and come down, heart center. On your next breath, take a twist over to the right, reaching up from the torso. Finding a nice big stretch in the front of the abdominals. Keeping a nice integrity in our hips here, sitting up nice and tall. Exhale, plant the left fingertips on the inside of the foot. Reach the right arm back as we come on to the outer edge of this back foot. Opening through the glutes, breathe, big breath. And then reaching back, lifting back up. Maybe we don't use our hands here. We come back through our side plank. So stepping it back. The right leg is long. And then we lift it and cross it over, coming into cow face pose, right leg on top. Make your way there comfortably. Carefully trying to stack the knees, but no judgment if they're a little bit further apart or not as close together. Inhale to find the length and exhale to take a forward fold, only going as far as we can with a nice flat back. We're here for two more breaths. Release tension in the hip. Last one. And inhale the chest back up. Release the hands if we found them by the feet. Carefully step this right foot up, coming into a little side lunge to the back of the mat, preparing to take the other side. Planting this right hand, coming down onto the right knee and extending the left. Kickstanding that right foot behind, finding our Side plank variation when we're here, connecting to the core, lifting the legs, squeezing the glutes, and bend, straighten, gazing at the hand, gripping through the fingers, building up some heat. And when our knee is bent, we can gently transition into our low lunge. Inhale, reach the fingertips up, and exhale, heart center. Find your twist on your next breath, and stay there, sending the hips down into the mat. Beautiful. And planting this right hand, reaching the left back for the foot. And coming back around through our side plank here, 
sweeping that left leg high. And exhale, cross it over the right, coming into cow face pose. Making any adjustments before finding our two or three breath forward fold. Taking this moment here as a little check in for yourself. Notice how you're doing. See what's popping up for you. One more breath. Then gently lift the chest, release the hands, carefully step in through a little lunge coming up to the top of the mat. Standing up, mountain pose. Ground down through the bottoms of the feet. Take your time to find your nice long mountain. Feel the energy coming up through the feet. Slightly tuck in the tailbone. Palms face forward. Stand up nice and proud and strong. Making sure we have enough room before you and after you. Ground down through this left foot. Take the hands out to the sides or the hips, and we can always switch to make ourselves more comfortable. Extend this right leg up to hip height. Hold here. With your next exhale, gently swing it behind you, coming into warrior three, keeping the foot flexed so we don't hit the toes on the mat on our way back. Shifting the weight forward. And coming back through our one-legged mountain, shifting the leg in front of you, keeping it extended. Nice and slow. See if you can feel this in every part of your lower body. Swing it back one more time. Warrior three, arms extended by the sides, airplane. Once we're in our warrior three here, we can add an additional optional Shiva squat, tap knee standing leg with the back knee. Warrior three, wherever we are, step to the back of the mat, turn to the long edge, toes pointing to the sides, facing forward to the long edge. Arms by the sides, one big inhale, and exhale, dive down, flat back. Feel the hamstrings, maybe we need to walk the feet out a little bit more. Do whatever you need to do. Beautiful. On your next breath, walk both of the hands over to the right foot, reaching for the ankle, trying to pull your chest as close to the leg as we can. One breath here. Maybe we go a little bit deeper. And then we release. Gently walk the fingers over to the left foot. Grab a hold of the ankle and pull yourself as close as feels good. Using your breath to open. And then gently release, taking the hands back underneath the shoulders. Walk the hands to the back of the mat. Turn to face the back of the mat and step up. Slowly roll up to mountain pose, feeling each vertebra of the back as we unroll. Beautiful. Grounding down through the right foot. Send the left up towards the hip. Squeezing, active, pulling the kneecap up. And exhale, warrior three. So weeping it behind you as you shift the chest forward. And sweeping the leg back in front. Going as slow as you need to, no need to rush anything here. Slow and controlled, warrior three. 
And we have our optional Shiva squat, adding in some extra strength. And back out, warrior three. And step that back leg back, turning to the long edge of the mat. And we dive down, long back, forward fold. Maybe we go a little bit deeper. Bending one knee and then the other, coming into the inner groins. Or we can stay in our wide-legged forward fold. Coming next into our Malasana Yogi Squat. Whenever you want to make your way there. Carefully heel toeing in, the feet underneath the hips, toes pointing out to the corners. Lifting the chest, sinking the hips. Hands meet at heart center. Connecting back to the breath. And gently lowering down onto the bum, keeping the feet planted, hands come behind. We can take little windshield wipers here. We're only gonna take a few on each side before we come into deer pose. So letting both of the knees drop to the left, or if we want to come through a bound angle, then we just send one right behind to the side. We want to feel this in the fronts of the right leg and the glute or hip of the left. This posture is going to look very different in everyone's bodies. So we just find something that feels good, something that feels grounding and stable. As we begin to calm the mind, And find your last breath here before gently coming to shift your weight onto the bum to switch sides, extending, well, bending the left leg behind as we're careful to find our position, finding a gentle little twist, breathing even. Coming back through center, coming onto the bum again to come back onto the knees, carefully through tabletop pose. Knees are underneath the hips, and then extend the arms out, dropping the chest down, melting it towards the mat. Ending our practice today with a nice, intense heart opener. Opening up our center of compassion, of acceptance. Enabling us to let go a little bit further, a little bit deeper. And staying here for as long as you wish. 
And then choosing your final resting pose. Any place where you can let go. Connect with your body and mind on a deeper level. Just letting the body become heavy. Enjoying the feeling of not having anything else to do, nowhere else to rush off to. You are here in this moment, in this beautiful body, on this floating rock hurtling through space. Sometimes we can make things seem so big when they're really so small compared to the things that matter, like you and your health. I want to thank you for joining me in this practice today and I hope that we were able to make your physical your mental hopefully both feel a little bit better we were able to find some some good and make ourselves feel good in any way thank you for sharing your time and energy it is always an honor to be your guide here I look forward to seeing you next time, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.